It's one thing to hear the rate of lava discharge was thought to be on a scale of hundreds of cubic meters per second in the first hours of Monday's volcanic eruption, as the Icelandic Meteorological Office, or IMO, said. It's kind of an old adage in volcanology circles that uh, the only constant is change. It's quite another to see a fissure opening stretching about two and a half miles, the fourth and largest eruption in the area since 2021. The striking contrast between fire and snow, the intense glow visible from afar. Yet a geologist says this eruption may not be as disruptive as it appears. They are very dramatic to see, but this volcano does not produce the big ash clouds like when Ejafjallajökull Jökull in Iceland erupted in 2010. The IMO says Tuesday the lava flow diminished to one quarter its original size with no reported impact on air travel. But the gases are toxic and there's a chance pollution could reach the capital of Reykjavik early Wednesday. The real disruption is in Grindavik, about three kilometers away from the eruption, evacuated as a precaution in November after a series of earthquakes. Fortunately for the inhabitants of Grindavik, it in, it's impossible to say how long this will last. So far, the lava flow has spared the community. If this uh, activity goes on, then the big question is, uh, uh, will Grindavik uh, be inhabited, inhabitable in the long run? Police say scientists will reassess the situation every hour, predicting it will take days to get as close to certainty as this eruption will allow. I'm Emily Schmidt reporting.